What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another episode here on the channel. Today, we're talking about LeBron James and a comment that he said on social media. LeBron actually said that he ain't S word without his wife. So let's check out and see what God's word has to say about that. Hey, if this is your first time on the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you hang out with me more often here on the channel. I look at current events and talk about life from a biblical perspective because I believe that God's word is true. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, throw me a like. And if you want to discuss, make sure you leave a comment. If not, that's cool, because I'm still going to make these videos. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So if you live up under a rock, you probably have no idea who LeBron James is, but a very successful basketball player, actually a superstar. And recent reports have uh, stated that LeBron James becomes NBA's first active player. Look at this worth a billion. That's right. Billion with a B dollars. I mean, he's getting his bread. He is stacking it up. So, hey, good for him. But he made a recent comment that I want to look at. He says, it says billionaire LeBron James gives a heartfelt emotional message to his wife, Savannah. I ain't S without you. Wow. It says recently the world witnessed the romantic side of the legend when he posted a heartfelt message for his wife, Savannah James. LeBron James posted a picture of his wife along with the heartfelt caption, the expression to express his gratitude and thanks for all her support. I'm going to tell you, it's nothing like a wife that supports her husband when he's trying to be productive. The Lakers star even mentioned that he felt he would not be as successful as he is today if it weren't for Savannah. He quoted, where would I be today without you? I think to myself quite often the answer usually comes back to not even close to where I would have been to want it to be in life. My, this is my appreciation post to you, my queen. Oh, wow. So he, he's letting folks know that, Hey, he, he needed his wife to be successful. Uh, she played a key point, a part in his life of being productive. Hey, and I think that's just awesome. So many times we look in the media, we hear on the music, our young people are bombarded with messages. Hey, you know, whoop that trick and, you know, get these hoes and, and get that booty and smack it up, flip it and rub it down. I mean, it's just so much going on. And to hear someone say that they appreciate not just a girlfriend, but going a step further and saying a wife, if I'm not mistaken, they were actually uh, to have been together since their high school days. Uh, and so they're married and have have a, uh, a, a very nice looking family. And I think that's cool. But what does the Bible say, folks? You know me. I believe in God's word. So let's check out a scripture. The scripture tells us in Hebrews 13 and four that marriage is honorable among all and the bed undefiled. OK, God, but fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. See, we got to remember in the society that we live in that God ordained marriage. God ordained marriage, according to scripture, between a man and a woman. Isn't it amazing when we look at society, that's not what's promoted. That's not what's pushed. That's not what's encouraged. Uh, you, you, you're encouraged to have a side chick. You, you're encouraged to be a player. But in God's eyes, he says marriage is honorable among all. He ordained for man and woman to be married and it pleases him. And that's not to say if you're single that God is not pleased with you. But remember the rest of the scripture 
fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. So I think that's wonderful when we see married couples in our society, whether they are born again or not, the scripture says it is honorable among all. So let's keep that in mind. Let's not uh, be hypnotized by what these rappers and celebrities are putting out here about marriage, about how it's boring, about how you can't have fun. Hey, you got to work a marriage. You know, you got to take time and invest in your marriage with with different things that you do. And that's another discussion. That's another topic or video. But nevertheless, I think it's cool to see a married couple being productive because the scripture teaches that is honorable before God. Hey, if you like today's video, make sure you throw me a like if you want to discuss Leave a comment. If you're not a subscriber, quit tripping and go ahead and subscribe. And if this video has been a strength to you, share it with someone else so it can be a strength to them. I hope you watch some of my other videos here on the channel. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Peace.